Hey everybody, uh, the artifact is signaling something that is moving away from Trappist-1. We need to do some more data processing to calculate the trajectory of this thing that's moving away. Interesting. That's what they're telling me anyway. Hey, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. We're uh, continuing with the story here. It says, based on the current trajectory, we think there is an alien starship that left Trappist-1 about 240 years ago. All right, let's take a look. The artifact is adjusting the gravitational wave to match the trajectory for something called uh, something approaching Kepler-42. Detailed analysis suggests that this could be a starship on a voyage from Trappist-1 to Kepler-42. We suspect the starship left Trappist-1 almost 240 years ago and will arrive at Kepler-42 in less than 10. The deceleration curve suggests the starship was under acceleration for the entire voyage. It would have reached a top speed of 0.8 C. In case you're unfamiliar with that, that means 80% the speed of light. Uh, this gravitational wave signal suggests these aliens have a large amount of control over gravity. Is that what allows them to travel so close to the speed of light? Uh, maybe. The starship will arrive there in 10 years, it says. Uh, so here's the survey report. And there's a bunch of stuff here about Kepler-42 and uh, a distance of 117.8 light years. We can't tell much about the system. Or what is of interest to the alien ship traveling there? So there we go. They're looking at planets in the Goldilocks zone there over there too. All right, cool. Uh, it wouldn't. It would take us much longer to make the same voyage. What do we need? Well, we should load the Ark with necessary supplies for a long voyage. Oh. Whatever our next destination may hold, we'll have only the supplies we take with us. We need enough cryopods for everyone on board the Ark. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bring the arc back into the story. It looks like. Uh, all right, we now have to enough room to put everyone in cryo sleep during the voyage. We do? No, we don't. I don't have anything on here. I mean, I've got. Oh, okay, I've got robots. We have robots on the arc. That's all we have, as far as I can tell. Uh, when you're ready, we can leave the Trappist One system in the indicated direction. This will set us on a course for Kepler Forty Two. Move the arc out of the system in the indicated direction. That is, <clears throat> that is it. That's, I feel like that's probably the end of the game. <laughs> Follow the signal. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I have only robots. Everyone else is here. I don't see a problem with keeping people here. Haven's been, a, is a great place for everybody, right? But we should certainly take, you know, some people with us. Look, at we have 125 spare people here. 125 people without a job at this location now. This this colony is growing super fast, you know? So why don't we take a few of these guys with us? Right? I think that's I think that's what we do. We take a few of these guys with us. Uh, do I have a spare ship? All right here. There we go. Graveyard's got some. There's 72 people here. All right, I think we take... Let's take uh, the spare people from this here. And it says we need cryopods for them, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do that. So if I go to build on the ark, uh, we're gonna need cryopods, man, like a lot of them, I would think. One, uh, it takes, of course, it takes steel to to do this. Okay, uh, tell you what, why don't we drop off a bunch of people here? Oh, I need habitats to unload them. No, come on. Can I just? I mean, I I've got a. This is set to thaw every. No, I want to do this. Is that to freeze? Yeah, yes, this. And so now it's going to freeze, but can I... So I need a habitat in order to freeze. I need steel beams. Okay, so we are going to need to send a bunch of stuff to the Ark. Where's my outline? Right here. We're going to need to send extra stuff to the Ark. And uh, see, Outland right here, it's, it's a much condensed base now, right? There's not a whole lot of fluff here anymore. It all just works. And it's, it's running really well. Although, I will say, I do not remember... Do you, I, I do not remember removing the, the ship maker. I probably did, but I don't remember doing that. So, uh, it would have been nice to have one extra ship. But that's okay. I can just borrow one of my trade ships that are not... You know, it doesn't need to be moving around here anymore. Yeah. Um, you, steel beam route. Here, here's what we're going to do with the steel beam route. We're going to take it away from there. And we're going to direct you here instead, huh? You're going to drop off your steel beams on the Ark instead. 
Uh, I like that idea. Okay, so that'll that'll be how we get them on the arc from there. Uh, and then the other resource that we need on the arc uh, for habitats is computer chips. And for the cryopods, that's it. But we're probably going to need some concrete on here as well. So tell you what, let's take our spare ship. We'll come on down to Haven really quick. I'm not sure how much room there is for like housing and stuff on Haven, but we'll empty this one if we can. And I actually have no spare capacity. This thing is at its limit. Haven has reached its population limit. And that's uh, that's okay. Um, I kind of wanted a thousand people here, to be honest, but it's okay that we don't have uh, that going on. We're going to take computer chips, a, whole, a full bay of computer chips with us. And all I really need is just enough to make one habitat on this base. So it looks like I've got the steel now. Yep. So if I go and make a habitat here really quick, just just pop it down here. I should be able to unload people and then they begin to get frozen right away. Right? Yep. So I can just unload people that way uh, to, to make that happen. All right. So it's going to be a slow process to get everybody doing the, uh, moving like this. But if I uh, increase the number of cryopods I have... Uh -huh. And I tell these things, set the thaw, let's set, to, set it to freeze, right? There we go. If I, uh, although I would say also for a, a user experience thing, I think the default setting on a newly placed cryopod should be freeze. Because you just placed the cryopod, there are no people in it. So having the default setting be thawed doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Especially since it comes down, it, it, it drops in paused already, you know? So that's how I would do it, but that's just me. Um, so I'm going to have uh, a whole bunch of this stuff happen. And let's, uh, let's delete this. We don't need that anymore. And uh, we can maybe go ahead and add a couple of extra habitats in here just to speed up this unloading process. That way, you know, the cryopods will keep doing what they're doing. So we're going to send, I, mean, I guess, as many people as we can, right? If the game's con constantly in development and maybe there's another system and there's more gameplay somewhere else, we are going to want some colonists with us. Although one could argue that if you send enough res resources uh, and you find the right planet, you could just have a purely automated colony where you just make robots the whole time. But yeah, you got to have some. I mean, what's the, na the nature of exploration, right? We got to do that. All right. So this ship is empty now. Let's head down to Haven. And uh, I don't know whether or not they're going to be able to. I mean, they have the health drinks and the oxygen and everything on the Ark as well. So it should be fine. Let's pull some colonists out of here we're gonna take uh how many people should we take on this journey with us what do you think huh i think uh maybe we just fill the ark with I, I think that's what we'll do we'll fill the ark with cryopods okay and then we'll you know we'll keep the, these this hardware here this is a water splitter for the the hydrogen and everything all right we gotta hit we gotta have helium three I probably should have a source, a, a way to create helium from water, right? Or hydrogen, sorry, from water, and then a, a way to create helium-3. I think all these types of things, you know, if we're, if we're role-playing this, all those types of things would be important to have with us, in my opinion. So I, I think we'll we'll do that. We'll set ourselves up for a really, a, a really great uh, adventure in another system, yeah. So let's have the cryopods placed. As many as possible here. Switch these modes and then hit go. And it will start freezing people. <laughs> oh, everybody just come on up here. We're going on a new journey. Oh, yeah. Now, is there any, anywhere else we want to do this? Like Zima Blue, right? It's not that big of a colony. There's only 34 people here. And, you know, because of that, they don't really have a, a whole lot of needs. And I think we'll keep that going. Although the population growth is at 2x we don't add additional housing they won't grow so we can kind of keep them in check that way um and then also new technologies and stuff i guess the university isn't really needed you know also can we build yeah let's put an apartment complex like right here i like that idea it's an extra 28 people so that brings us up uh past the 60 point doesn't it i think it does so we'll have to remove let's say uh uh, we'll remove uh, one of these houses. Let's say, how about uh, how about this one on the end here? 
Let's remove that one. And that should keep us under the 60 pop. So it'll allow it to get up there, but keep it under the 60. And then obviously the health drinks. All right, we want to make more health drinks. Then we have to go to, is it resources? Yeah, seaweed aqua farm, right? We just kind of put the stuff right next to each other there. Right, and then another one over here. And then we would ship health drinks to the Ark. Yeah. We would be just using this as an export station for, for health drinks now. That's a really easy health drinks, man, man. Where have you been, Zima Blue? I should have done this with Zima Blue a long time ago. But it made things from Outland way easier. Way easier than this setup, anyway. We can now take... We can now start and remove this setup. We don't need any of this. We just adjust our trade routes to take the health drinks from here and we move them over there because they're not needed here anymore so get rid of all these and if, upon doing that we can have enough people or I guess enough robots to properly manage and maintain everything on this base yeah just pause that one for now now you can make make your robots you yeah, should have lots of plasteel bricks and they'll start making their population again because there wasn't enough robots to have this building working and that's why it wasn't working but now we can just keep the Keep the robot population growing, huh? I think actually having a few robots on the Ark would be a really good idea, right? You would want them managing things and, and making your making your fuel and, and making all that stuff. You would want that automated workforce to manage the Ark while people are going down to the surface. Or like on a hazardous planet, if we were going to a hazardous planet, we would want automated workforce on the planet initially to get set up with the essential infrastructure, right? So I feel like, yeah, I feel like we want to keep making robots. Um, so we'll go in and uh, put another storage down here and that will just increase the amount of robots we can have here to an to a point where i can then pick up like you know 40 of them or something and, and bring them to the ark i like that idea so we'll have that as a as a way of preparing for the journey as well you like how i'm role playing that i don't know it's this i mean all i really have to do i think to end the game at this point is just you know move the ark there done but uh, I want to I want to role play this and prepare for a journey. I think that's the best way to go about it. This is how we this is how we play these games, right? Uh, so we'll have this be get right up against it. There we go, right up against. Uh, it's a little bit. There we go, and right there. Yep. So we get these cryopods. Let's switch the mode and hit go. Switch the mode, hit go. Switch the mode, hit go. And then we just offload all these guys and go back and get more. Yeah, that's how we do it head down to Haven. All right. So I'm going to keep expanding this and uh, keep dropping off new people. Keep bringing them to the Ark, right? We don't have a huge population overage now on this planet anymore, which is nice. Uh, and then I want to bring some more concrete so we can you know, increase that. There we go. And uh, now that we have all these, all these citizens are, uh, all these people are frozen. I'll keep running on this and I'll bring you back in. Actually, before I continue on that and bring you back in and everything, um, I noticed that the achievements in the game on Steam, if you, if you hit escape, pause it, bring up this, you can see all the different achievements that are available and, uh, survey all planets, moons, and the star of Trappist is not done. So apparently I haven't surveyed everything. So I'm going to go and look for that so I can get that achievement as we go. I'm not really an achievement hunter usually, but I feel like that's one I definitely should get. Uh, there are a couple of other ones here. Have this, have the floaters ready before the ice melts. <laughs> Damn it. So I could have had that one. Uh, but then there's uh, this one here. Uh, this And this kind of would have spoiled it for me. So uh, if, if I'm going through this game uh, for the first time uh, without watching it on YouTube like this... Uh, I think I would have a bit of a negative reception to having all the achievements laid out for me like this. I would like in game, if, if I, if I actively go to the section in steam to look at them, then like that's on me. Right. But in game, if I'm looking through achievements because they're popping up in my face and saying, Oh, Hey, you got this achievement. I might want to, you know, explore where those achievements are, especially since it's a button directly next to the settings button. Nope. We're going to click this. Right. Anyway, my point is I would like these masked. I'd like them to uh to not show me what they are that would that would be better i think because otherwise set out and follow the signal wherever it may lead this would have spoiled it for me had i looked at the section beforehand this would have spoiled it for me and i would have known that the end of the game is me going to another system right i wouldn't have to leave the trap system right so just saying uh now new game 
Plus, <laughs> I like this. Start a new game plus without colonists, only robots. That's interesting too. I wonder what new game plus is. Maybe, maybe that is the different system. Uh, and then there's also no one left behind. Take everyone with you on the arc when leaving for your next destination. Take everyone with you. That's not going to happen. I've got too many people, I think. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but everyone who, who lives in my, in, in my colonies, if you will, everyone who's alive is on these two planets. So everybody else is all robots. This is a fully, op a fully automated workforce here and a fully automated workforce here. Uh, Zima Blue, we could easily pull people out of this and just put robots here too. So we could do that. It's only 36 people. And that would leave essentially everybody uh, who is alive would be uh, on on this area here. Um, it, it's pretty easy. I think if you look at like the lore of things and how things are working, uh, I, I feel like it's pretty easy to like, you know, people would get on a ship and move between these two things if they want to. So anyway, I need to figure out what planet, what surface, which... Uh, body if you will orbital body here i have not you know scanned yet i need to figure out which one that is because i i don't know which one it is so i don't as soon as i move to it i'll see them scanning if that's the case pretty sure i've already looked at hot nugget so red planet uh, i didn't scan that i guess red uh hot nugget i'm pretty sure we got done with the scan on that maybe it's janice i thought we did that but maybe not. Maybe it's Planet X, honestly. Like, I did these two, but did I ever scan Planet X? I don't remember. I'm not scanning there, so let's go over here. And uh, meanwhile, while we're doing that... Well, everybody's frozen. Yeah, everybody's frozen on the arc. Uh, there actually are nine people. So, you know, they're, we're consuming resources right now. There are nine people awake on the arc, so that's good. So that means I can just... Uh, I can get more frozen if I just go into the cryopod thing and add another. We're going to add a whole bunch of them here, I think. As much as possible. We'll just go ahead and freeze them. There we go. Uh, and then I might want to take this route. This is bringing steel here, so that's not the most effective route. I wonder if there's uh, any route coming from Haven. Oh, this is a spare ship. Yeah, yeah, this is a spare ship. Cool. Uh, we can start pulling people from this. I, I guess we, we take as many as possible. It might actually be possible to take this many. Like, I'm I'm starting to think it's possible to freeze this many people. We might actually be able to do this. To take everyone? To leave no one behind? Like, there's a lot of space on this. I underestimated how much space there was on this, but this is possible, I think. We just pull people in and and dump them into these uh, habitats, and then they, you know, they they get uh, they get frozen. That's how that's working, right? Twenty four each. Well, yeah, actually, there's enough room for that. There is. Cool. Uh, we will we will do that. We're going to need water, uh, which we have plenty of on, on Haven. So why don't we take this uh, ship right here? I'm going to tell that ship to come back. We're going to we're going to cancel the route on this ship. And uh, we're going to make sure that you're full of water. And uh, not not so full, but we just need to have a bunch of water on board here. Here we go. And we're just going to bring a bunch of water to the Ark really quick. And then where's my where's my other ship? I went to Janus, right? Yeah. So you're not you're not scanning that. Let's go to uh, let's go to X. I don't know if I've actually scanned Planet X. I did the the moons. I'm pretty sure I did the jungle planet. Uh, these aren't something I can search for, by the way. Like these are just big asteroids or big moons, I guess. But they're big enough to be its moon, I guess. But I haven't. I'm not able to like go to those so we'll see what happens maybe i'll scan the i'll scan planet x and that'll be how we do it all right so unload this and then get out of the way because this guy wants to land and then i'll have you continue your route from there there you go uh you just dump jump off as many people as you can yep and then more cryopods for everyone i i think we can do it i think we can bring everybody with us to the next place and that would leave only robots in these locations, right? I need to get these crowd pods to line up. Yep, so let's just start activating the freeze here. There we go. And uh, now we just continue to drop people in, you know? There we go. And then what else do we need for building more? We need more concrete. So how about we do this? Let's make it 
Yeah, I need, I need more concrete. Let's bring this down to Haven. We'll go get concrete in this bay really quick. We'll make like five more habitats. Nah, that's, not, that's too many. We'll make two more habitats. And that way I can just drop more people in. Because the, the freezing process is pretty quick. Uh, let's make sure we have concrete. Back up. Obviously, we have a big worker shortage here right now. It could probably get by with putting the uh, uh, putting some robots over here in Haven right now to like offset that. But if we're gonna freeze everybody, right? All we want to do is load up on all the survival stuff and then hit the road, right? I think that's how it works. Uh, can we have another? If I do another automated depot. If I stick another, if I stick an automated depot in here, I'm, I'm curious if it it does increase our storage capacity, right? So if I do that, for example. Will we have more storage capacity now? It kind of looks like we do. Yeah. We're not full of oxygen and stuff anymore. We want to bring oil with us. Yep. We want to bring everything with us. So I say we bring, uh, we have 14 robots so far. We could bring more, uh, and have that, you know, be the automated workforce that we require for our adventures. Uh, where is Outland? Yeah. So there's seven spare robots here now. Good. We'll just turn that back on because we can. And, uh, and we'll just keep moving things to load up the Ark. Yeah, that's, that's it. Um, apparently, I've already scanned Planet X. That's what it says. So, like, we it didn't get anything new for it. So I feel like I've scanned everything. I'm not sure what I've missed to get that achievement. But it, it just doesn't look like I've scanned everything. I mean, can I send the ship here? <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've already scanned the, the sun, too. I've, I went there. Zima doesn't have any moons, so that's not it. These are, I mean, I have bases on these, so I clearly have scanned those. Uh, I'm pretty sure we scanned the jungle planet. We already had a readout on it. I guess I'll click it just to be thorough. Uh, hot nuggets already done. These are already done. I don't think there's anything else in the system unless there's some surprise waiting for me. So I, mean, I might not be able to get that achievement. Might just be the way it is, man. All right, I've unloaded everybody. Let's go get more concrete. It is going to be really close, but I think, unfortunately, I have so many people. I have too many people to take everybody. I just, I don't think I have the capacity on the Ark to do so. We still have 115 on the surface of Haven. And, uh, well, now I've got 91 with this compartment. So if I, I need a little bit more concrete, I think it's going to be close. I think one of the things that's going to allow me to do it, maybe, is just having the cargo, like the these ships that are attached to the Ark, I think having these with people in them, like filled up, is going to be sort of like the savior of, of this. I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Um, so I've got these two extra cryopods there, and we're kind of full here. Uh, unless I get rid of the algae farm that's allowing them to, to operate here, which I could do. Uh, and then the fusion reactor, I think, is required for this. So uh, we'll, we'll keep that on. Uh, but I think the algae farm could probably go. So if I got rid of that and got an extra cryo cryopod, maybe that would do it. Maybe that would put me over the edge. We'll see. Uh, so let's get these activated. And then there's this one here. And I think that is it. Aside from, of course, the habitats themselves can be broken down uh, to be replaced by cryopods. We could do that, too. This ship is got eight, has got 80 colonists on it. I need to get back down to the surface of Haven as soon as possible to reduce that population even further. The faster I can reduce the population, the you know the slower the population will just start naturally growing all the time. So, uh, no, nope, I need to do I need to do this. There we go. Uh, so there's only 38 people on the surface there now. Let's pick them pick them back up. And. Uh, it's a slow process to load everybody on there, but I mean, we're getting there. It's, it's, it's happening. And, uh, I also need to go back down to graveyard. There's a few people left on graveyard too. So I'll have to look at that. Uh, so as these cryopods fill up, I will need to, uh, I'm gonna have to pull people back in actually. Let's, all right. That's everybody. So I can now take away this and this leaving only one habitat on here. And then we'll continue to do this and then offload people as fast as possible. We're going to offload them from this ship first so that it can go down to graveyard and, and get them. So. But this has 120 people on it. And uh, that's going to probably max it out. You know, I don't think I can do anything. 
Uh, another thing I, I didn't think of that might have worked, you know, because they can be in the ship indefinitely, is uh, putting down a landing pad down here too. Uh, so each of the cryopods can hold 24 people, right? So if you think about that, this space right here is a little less than 100 people, right? And if I put a landing pad down, I'm curious on how big that is. Okay, so that's going to be... That's going to be too big anyway. Yeah, that would want... Okay, two by three. So that is, that is actually not... It's even bigger than two by three, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I wish I could put it on the side. That'd be cool to take more ships with me. Be able to expand that out. I don't think there's a way to do that, though. The landing pads have to go on the top of it. Could have put our ecology here, actually, too. That, that would have worked to have more people to offload. All right, so it's a, now it's this really slow process because I can only unload a few people at a time with this. But if I can go down to, to Graveyard with this ship, there's zero people here. Good. All right, lift off. Lift off, lift off, lift off. Here we go. Uh, we should now be able to take everybody on Haven. But remember, there's, a, there's still 30-something people over on Zima and uh, 40 people now. So let's get rid of the houses <laughs> as fast as possible over here. So they don't grow anymore. All right. I can't get rid of any more houses. So they're going to be, there are 44 people left here, which is just over one cargo bay's worth of people. That's no good. They grew a little bit too fast, didn't they? Eh, it was my own, it was my bad. I wanted them to grow. I, I wanted the whole, I wanted everyone to just, you know, gr to grow. Yeah. Uh, so there's 39 here. And uh, I can fill, I can fit more in this cargo bay with this compartment right here. So if I can get rid of the the steel on this ship, let's uh, let's unload people from this one first. If I can get rid of the steel on this ship, which is at, actually at this point, honestly, here's how I'd have to do that. I'm just going to do this, right? Just, just put it, oh, just put it on the surface here. Let's actually go to Zima. Let's do that. Let's go to Zima blue right, right now. So they don't, they're not going to grow anymore anyway, but yeah. Uh, do I want to offload from here? You have to have at least one habitat, otherwise you can't bring them onto the Ark. The ability to load the, to to put them in cryopods from the ship directly would be a welcome feature. It means I can take an extra 24 people with me, but we are very close to the maximum here. I think we might be leaving somebody behind. There's zero here, so no more growth. There's zero in graveyard. That's it. So if I can get enough people onto... I think I might have done it. I think I might have had just enough space, you guys. We're going to bring this to Zima. We're going to give the, the steel here. And then load up with colonists here. That's everybody on Zima Blue. That's it. We did it. We got everybody off of every planet. And then we go back to the Ark. And we park right there. We had five... We had five spaces left. That's wild. I, I think we actually have more than five spaces because these aren't full yet. And then we could we could obviously have some people living here, but for a long journey, you wouldn't want anyone awake drawing resources from storage. So this ship we're not going to touch because it's just full and 40. I'm going to leave it. It's the most optimal way to do it is to keep that completely full. So for these two, we have, uh, let's see. So there's 14 spaces available on that one and 19 spaces available in that one. So that's not going to... Uh, ooh, that might actually empty that cargo bay. Right? No, not you. I don't know what I'm doing here. Where's the other ship? Oh, it just, it just parked. Yeah. 35 in that slot. So maybe... My math is probably bad here, but I'm thinking I can empty this, which means I can bring more resources and fill, fill the arc up. I want to have... I want to have every resource stored on the Ark for these guys, you know, and they make their big journey. I want them to be able to start with everything so they have the best possible start when they get there, yeah? So we'll just keep chugging away at this. And uh, there's no point in breaking down the habitat to put another cryo bay since I can't actually load them in the cryo bay unless there's already in the habit they're already in a habitat. Uh, actually, one way we could do this I didn't think of this, but actually we had, we had the ability to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we could have, well, actually, I don't know. So I don't know that we could have done this. We might've had to do a, a bit of a juggle 
on the other system. So here's here's the plan was to break down the fusion reactor. Okay. Put a habitat there. Break down this habitat. Put in another cryopod. Freeze people. Then we remove since they're all frozen, there's nobody left in here. We remove the house, put back the fusion reactor. See? And then when you get to the next destination, you have a bunch of resources. You then can break down the fusion reactor, put a habitat, unload people from the cryopods into the ships. And then once the ships are full and you can, you know, do whichever you want, then you can, you know, put back the fusion reactor. You could, you could, we could juggle it. It's possible to do that. But we're not going to have to. Because we got it. Everybody who is alive. Every, all living people are now on the Ark. This is exciting times. All right, there we go. So I got one bay available. I can go down and just gather up all the resources for the Ark, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to fill up the Ark with all available resources. All the, all the resources they're going to need for survival. Yeah? So if I click the storage here... You know, you have a little bit more health drinks. Um, we could send more robots too. There are some in Outland available. So we could do that. There's actually one person in that. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's one person awake right now in the habitat. He's got that habitat all to himself. All right. So uh, concrete, I think, is the first thing I'll bring because it looks like it was a little light from all the building. So bring that over uh, real quick. Yep, so we'll fill these up. And that's that's my gameplay right now. Uh, but I'm not going to make you wait for all that. So I'll be right back. You guys, I made a boo-boo. I did. I made a, a boo-boo. I've got 80 people in this ship. You know, I've been trying to go around and get the stuff to, to load in. And uh, there's 80 people in this ship as well. They have the exact same payload. I thought they were the, the same ship they are not <laughs> so we have a this is a houston we have a problem situation here because um like i can load this this many people okay and we can go all the way to here but like now we have everybody here and uh, everybody in the ship and then there's this one guy <laughs> in that habitat and so i can't uh i can't have the fusion reactor so we're gonna have to take down that fusion reactor and I think the only way we're actually going to be able to bring everybody is without the fusion reactor at all. That's the only thing I can do here. So the juggle must happen. Uh, we will place this habitat here. We will destroy this one. And we will place a cryopod here. That, that juggle is going to have to happen. So uh, we're going to turn on this. And, uh, I, 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 we still can't do it. I can't bring everybody. I have too high of a population to bring everybody. So the only way to, to get this achievement would, would be to, to would be to let them die. <laughs> it would be to let the people on Haven die. These 40 people, there, there's no way to, to send them. Uh, we're just, just have too many people there. So. Uh, yeah, that achievement is not happening. I thought we were there. I, I was, I was really confident we had it, but that is not the case. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the case. Um, this habitat, well, hang on now the habitat, right? Maybe if we have enough for the journey, it, it might work for the achievement, but it would be not lore friendly to actually having it done. Um, but what I would do. I think for this is we would take this away we would put in the arcology instead right which uh, you know increases capacity for everybody but you'd still want power on the arc to do to do this um i'm not sure what the this is this is gonna hold 24 colonists as well and there is just no way to take everyone with us. I think we're short by like 10, like 10 capacity. We just have too many people. And you would want power to power this building, I would think, but maybe not. 
maybe it doesn't need it. You know, I guess. There's, uh... There's oxygen and everything for them, so maybe. If I unload them into the Arcology, they're going to start getting frozen right away. So we'll, we'll see how it works. I, I don't think it will, but we'll see how it goes. Because there's an extra 40 people, right? So where's, where's that ship at? Right over here. <laughs> Orbital mechanics, man. It's just like, it's moving. I mean, you should probably put it in orbit, but these ships here are kind of in the way for orbit. So I'm going to send this one over to Zima just to get it out of the way. And then this one here is in orbit, and we'll send this one over to Zima too, just to, again, just to kind of get it out of the way. So only the ships that matter are orbiting, and this that's that would be this one. Now I don't I don't need this. So if I come back out, I would say, you know, empty this entire bay out right here. Uh, we're actually going to have to move people into the other ship. So why don't we send you to graveyard real quick? Yeah, and then we'll do this. We'll go back to Graveyard. This this might be the only way to do this. Because because there's, no, there's nothing else I could do. So this ship right here, we unload the colonists. We load them into this one instead. We lift off. I think Arcology just saved me. Right, because we can have a higher capacity of people in there. So 17 out of 20, like that, that that's the only way I heard there. Yeah. 17 people are here and everybody else is in the ship that is that is so close but i think we i think we did it uh the only thing left to do now is to i want i want to get robots onto the the ark and that is for outland uh over here so there's a ship right here we're gonna bring this back bring this back get back get back in there all right so we're gonna bring this down of course I can't empty this. All right, so we'll just drop it on the ground, I guess. There we go. And we're going to take some robots with us. Uh, 40. Yeah, why not? Just bring 40. Uh, they, well, they'll, they'll sort it out. <laughs> they'll be able, I mean, they're going to make more robots from the resources they have. So they'll sort it out. Um, and then we'll bring this over to the Ark. And then I'm just going to have this ship here go into orbit really quick. So Outland. Where's... Wow, this is really far away now, isn't it? Sure is. Uh, where's my robots? Right there. So this ship goes right there. We unload the robots. And then th I think that's it. We got to double check everything because that extra ship kind of threw me for a loop. But we're good there. Mm-hmm. Graveyard. Zero. Good. Zima, zero, good. Uh, just I'm just being thorough here. I don't want to leave anyone behind. That's 19 robots, no colonists. See, zero colonists available. Uh, we already know that Outland doesn't have anybody, but we'll just hover it anyway. There it is. Uh, and then we don't have a base on anywhere else, so there's nothing else to look at, nothing else to explore. I think that is. I think that's going to do it. You know. So the Ark. We're going to make the journey. Well, I, I don't know if it's going to do the cutscene as soon as I click the thing or if it's going to like wait for the ship to actually arrive. So we'll just put this back in orbit now. And then you are going to go here. Okay, everybody is going on the Ark. We've got robots. We've got sufficient resources to take us wherever we want to go. We could do with a little bit more water, admittedly. I think, I think more water would be a good thing. And again, we're mostly just role-playing that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of water here really quick. And just fill up the Ark with water. Just to make sure they have a bunch. So we'll just... Yeah. This much water will suffice. Just move that away and... Go ahead and unload that. There we go. It's full. We send this back down to Haven and put you on the Ark. And the Ark, we will then put you to infinity and beyond so we'll go this way the ark is moving there are 17 people on the ark they are consuming 0.28 oxygen uh per minute they are consuming four health drinks uh 1.13 per minute 
And this thing is jittery as shit. <laughs> what is going on with you? Hey, oh, it's, well, it's because it can't move in a straight line. The red planet's in the way. <laughs> it just happens to be in the way. That is an interesting dilemma happening right here. You can't decide which direction you want to go, huh, Ark? Oh, yeah. Let me just run into the planet and die. Sure. That sounds great. Let's just double check and make sure I have scanned this planet. I don't see any scanning going on. So, like, I, yeah, I feel like I've maybe just for some reason I'm not going to get this achievement. I've, I've surveyed everything as far as I can tell. It's just the way it's going to be, man. You know, maybe uh, I needed to search, survey the desert planet again. You know, survey something that we've, I mean, we've been orbiting the desert planet the whole time. So that can't be the case. No, I, I, I think we just missed the opportunity for that, that achievement. I just, just, it just won't ping. It's the way it's going to be. We'll leave that over there. So Ark on its way. <laughs> it's going to have to like have a close encounter with every other planet, apparently on its way. You're going to get, you're going to do into the sun too. Jeez. It's just the worst time to leave. We're just going to go ahead and leave when our planet is the furthest possible point away from our destination. No big deal. All right, I'll let it keep going. I'll be right back. One of the things I think I would like to see for the game in its future is when you click this to move to the signal. Okay. I, I want a cutscene. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want a cutscene. I don't want to have to wait for this slow moving arc to get there this experience it's not the best it could be it's taking a while again I left from the furthest possible side but you know what else could happen you, you could also uh have this point appear near side that would be one way to do it if you don't want to break the immersion of having to move the arc to the point and having it you know have and have it, you know, just do this because I'm on max speed, by the way. This is this is zoomed in. Uh, this is this is sped up as much as I can. But uh, if you didn't want to spoil this whole experience of watching the arc move, just spawn this point closest to the arc at the time, right? I think that would be one way to compromise. It's I don't know if that's even possible to do because honestly, everything is moving around and the player might take a while to load people in, like I just did. So it's very possible that there's no real way to solve this aside from giving me a cutscene, man. <laughs> Just like, you want to go to the arc? Cool. Maybe when I click this, the arc's movement speed, you know, it, it's under constant acceleration. So maybe it just gets gradually faster and faster and faster and faster as it hits there. That'd be one way to compromise it as well. Because, or that would, yeah, that would be one way to, uh, you know, to fix it as well. Just have everybody doing that. Uh, yeah, we're all full. I just wanted to make sure everything everything is full. It should be, right? Because it's all on fill. And uh, there's still 17 colonists in that. And then for their supply, right? They're using their oxygen a little bit. Not very fast, but they are using the health drinks quite fast. That's why I filled it up with health drinks there before we left. So, And with other resources too. So wherever they're going, these guys are going to start with, you know, 44 plasteel bricks. They're going to have a little bit of tea with them, right? They got a ton of hydrogen so they can remake every all the, uh, the resources like they can make more fuel and things like that they we've got computer chips or helium three to just you know for all the rocket fuel and everything that they need plenty of concrete to build with lots of water to start with crude oil to convert to fuel or some plastic we don't have any plastic i didn't i didn't actually give them plastic i could still do that though it's it's not too late to give them plastic but let's assume for the sake of role play that i stopped right now Brought one of these ships over to Outland and then said, hey, here's some plastic, right? From Outland. Here it is. Here's some plastic for you. Let's just say I did that, okay? Because <laughs> I don't want to wait any longer. So here we go. The Ark is making its journey. I believe, anyway. It looks like the the, the trajectory line for this, it, it goes here. So you can see how that's the new one. This is the arc's trajectory line, the, the the mini dash marks, the ones that are smaller than the other dash marks. That's the trajectory line for the arc. And if I click this, 
it kind of skews up and goes up that way. So wherever we're going, it's not this way. It's like a representation of space is, is being created in 2D here, right? And as you zoom in, it gets a little more 3D because it starts to arc the camera. But it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you probably needed to go, you know, in this case, I think you guys get it. You go, come up towards the camera from here, right? You don't, you're not going left or right. We need a different axis, the Z axis, if you will. All right. Follow the signal arc with everybody on board. Is it going to give me the achievement? Wait, you, you stopped. Why did you, why did you stop? Wait, wait, wait. Why did you stop? All right. Leave the system in this direction, I guess, is what it... Follow the signal. That's what... Maybe I just have to get the arc into the circle, which is what I was trying to do. There we go. We are now in position to leave the Trappist system. I wonder what's out there. <laughs> you go. I'll stay here. Let's go and see. Cool. Place all remaining colonists. Uh, yeah, we should load the Ark with the necessary supplies for a long voyage. Whatever our next destination may hold, we'll have only the supplies that we take with us. We need enough cryopods for everyone on board the Ark. Oh, you think I'm going to just do that while it's here? You think that? That's what's happening? Uh, wrong -o. I did it when it was close by. That's the one you do that. You, you don't... Yeah, no, 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 no. Although, I will say, since it's asking me to do that now... Um, this would be the time to go get the plastic and uh, the health drinks and stuff, yeah? To replenish the supply of health drinks for their long voyage. I mean, you can see how fast they're using them. Their long voyage, they're not going to last that long voyage anyway. They're using them at way too fast of a rate. So, yeah. I, I think we just go. I think we're good. I've got every colonist in. I think we just go. But I'm not sure how to do that. Do I just leave? There's no indication on the screen of what to do. So I guess we just go we just go that way. We leave, right? Is that Can I just click this? Follow the signal. I'm a little bit a little bit confused on where to go. Let's just let's just leave the circle and see if that's enough for it. Maybe that'll be enough. We leave the system in this general direction. Okay. Can we go? Is it time? All right, devs, I'm a little confused. Not uh not sure if I'm just a dummy. Or if uh, instruction is not clear. We're now in position. I know. Let's go and see. That's what I said. Let's go and see. Want to go. Should load the necessary for the voyage. I, I know. Yep. Uh-huh. Need enough room in the cryopods for everyone aboard the Ark. Oh. It's not going to let me do that. I get it. It doesn't let me do so I cannot have that sucks because I could have put a cryopod here and had enough room but it requires the all right you know what that's just that's just great all right I understand now and it's it's depressing it's making me sad it's making me sad because if the game would just allow me to load the crowd pods directly from the ship, I get this achievement right now. Right? This holds 24 people. I got 17 out of pods. It won't let me leave until everyone's in cryo. I cannot leave with people in arcology, basically, is what it's saying. Just super lame. All right? Big old lame, 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 lame system. That's what I'm saying. Now, does that also mean that they can't ride on the sh in the ships? Can they not ride in the ships too? <laughs> uh, hang on, let's uh, let's delete this. I I'm one hundred percent certain it won't let me do this, but let's just see. We're gonna build. 
Another cryopod right here. I'm certain it won't let me do this, but we're going to see. Unload everybody. Yeah, I, 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 I'm unable to unload them. Unless I delete the storage, I can't do that. No, no it, it simply is not possible. So we're not going to get this achievement. But if the game, let this record show, if the game would allow this directly from the ship, which it should, there's zero reason why I need a habitat to... If they're going off the ship directly to cryo, there's no reason to need a habitat for that. So if the ship would have allowed that to happen, I would have been good to go. And I would have had everybody uh, on board. So where's my fusion reactor? Let's put that back in because we, we should have that anyway. All right. Now, the next question I have, right, is whether or not we're going to have enough colonists or whether or not we're going to be able to, to do this. So let's have these 17 poor saps. They're going to go to Zima Blue because the infrastructure there is better set up for long-term survival. There's atmosphere already. There's water everywhere. And the health drinks are produced uh, at the site without any input. So we'll let them be over there. And then obviously it's a smaller colony too. So it's better for less people. But okay. So now that we have nobody on the Ark outside of... A cryo pod right they're they're on the ship still right now will it let me do this if it doesn't let me do this then i'm i would have been screwed anyway i don't, I don't care <laughs> i would have been like all right well there will at least be some people here so i guess i have to exit the circle and then re-enter the circle to get the dialogue to pop back in so we'll just go ahead and do that now just back it up yep beep 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 all right, we're in position to leave. Yep, I wonder what's out there. Let's go see. I think it's going to tell me again, isn't it? We need enough room in the crowd pods for everyone on board the Ark. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me do that, guys. Ah, uh, what a drag. What an absolute drag. Okay, well, I'll uh, tell you what. This ship is going to go with us. We're going to get rid of your trade route. Your trade route's gone now. We're going to get this ship to go with us. All the ships that have people, we're going to get rid of those, I guess. Because the game won't let me do it. You should bring plastic with you. Just to spite you, game. Although, honestly, there probably isn't any plastic on this base since we've been making Plasteel with it. Uh, that's not true. There's 73. That's good enough. 73 is good enough for me. You go to Haven. Yeah, you just go back to Haven, I guess. That's the only thing you can do. Uh, and then this ship here. Oh, the ship I'm sending to Haven has a trade route, too. Well, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, we don't need it. I mean, really, we don't need any trade routes at all here. You're going to pick up plastic from Graveyard, which there may not be any left since nobody's here to make it. There is no, There is none left. Uh, so you are going to go to Haven instead. Maybe we'll find that. Go to Haven instead. I don't see any rubber duckies. Okay. Well, no duckies. I guess. We'll bring computer chips. Those are tough to make. We'll fill that up and then the rest of the space will be occupied by bread sure we'll just bring bread they can eat their bread when they get there even though nearly 300 of their brothers and sisters are not going with them because the game's being stupid <laughs> it's it's not the game's fault i mean honestly trying to bring them long long distances in the cargo bay of this ship is already <laughs> like that shouldn't have happened anyway i shouldn't have been able to do that anyway but i figured hey you know it's worth a shot so definitely cannot get that achievement. I just simply have too many people to do it. It's just the way it goes. All right, fine. Our ship is going to have our, our little ships are going to, where, where is it? Where's the other ship that's going to the Ark? Where is it? My computer chips and bread? No, wait, wait a minute. Ah, uh, I see. I see the thing here. Okay. I need a different ship. You guys are really far away. What do you have on you? 
You. Go down to Zima. We're going to say... I want... What do I want? What do I want? Let's bring oxygen. That's pretty important for these people. You know what? Who knows what we'll find when we get to this new system, right? I think it's appropriate to bring the floaters. So we're going to bring some floaters. And there's the plastic. There. Good. Awesome. Done. Uh, we don't need the helium-3. Uh, we will replace that with concrete to build with. Okay. We're going to bring the floaters. Makes sense to me. Never know. Never know what you're going to need. Let's get rid of the trade route and head it over here. Okay. So I want you to trade spaces with this ship. And then that's like 300 people who are going to just have to stay here, I guess. Everyone else is going to have to go, is going to be able to go to the fun zone, but not those 300 people. Mm, nope, nope. There's just not enough room on the arc. I would love to be able to build a bigger arc. Or upgrade the cryopods to have more people in them or, you know, some kind of technology thing. The university could have helped us out there, you know what I mean? If we were really adamant about getting everybody on board, I'm sure there's some research we could have done to make that happen, you know? All right, swap in. You. Get out the way. Go back to graveyard. Just, I don't know. Eh. Haven's better. Go back to Haven. And you don't need your trade routes anymore either. Bye. Okay. We now have every person who is alive. Every living person. Who's going on the arc. Is in cryo. So if this game doesn't let me complete. I'm just going to end the video here. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do anything. So outside the circle. Back inside the circle. Can we prompt this to happen now please? Come on now. Follow the signal. So far, everything is the same. Let's go. There it is. And we're off. Game over. Uh, 257 colonists. I mean, you guys saw. I had everybody there. Only 21 people died my entire time playing this game. And then 194 robots. You can now select this arc when you start a new game. Oh, look at that. So that's the new game plus, right? And so if I had gone... Oh, so that's the achievement, right? If I had gone... Here you go. Sarah, thanks for the game, man. It's been awesome. This is the credits? This is it? Wait a minute. I mean, I, I get that you're, you know, solo developer and everything. I understand that completely, but... Uh, this may be the shortest credit scene I've ever seen. Programming, writing, and stuff. <laughs> Love it. Peter Oost. Thanks for your work on this, man. Uh, music from Andrew Sitkov. Would like more variety in the music. Uh, I, I I like how... I, don't, I, I have mixed feelings about like how the music changes on a... Like, sharply, depending on what planet you're looking on. And every planet kind of has its own its own uh setup every planet kind of kind of has its own atmosphere its own aura i guess you could say about it uh, i liked that part but if you're rapidly switching between planets ah uh, i know like it's the same soundtracks over and over is what i'm getting at so i'm thinking like every planet maybe you could have like its own theme of songs and then have like a couple different songs like maybe three or four that it per planet that is sort of like swaps between i do realize that's like four times the music so it does expand the the thing but if you're gonna make it a big game where we're playing it for long periods of time i don't know i feel like it could have added some atmosphere but otherwise i'm impressed at what's been able to be done here by a single person uh in and in, in peter <laughs> by, by by people like that you guys have done fantastic job on this so far and i am looking forward to seeing uh, to following along this journey and seeing what else you have out there uh, and what else you do with Trappist. It's been fun. So uh, thank you everybody else to watched, uh, that watched. I appreciate you. If you have uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. Dev has been watching the vids and been commenting and stuff too, so you'll probably get an answer. And uh, yeah, it's been real. We'll see you in uh, whatever other games are out there. We're, we're playing a whole bunch of them right now. So I, will, I hope you'll check out the channel some more and uh, find something else that you like, okay? We'll see you later. Bye-bye.